This is the DIY Affiliate bringing you yet another tutorial. Image from a video. Have you ever wanted to get just images when you make videos? Well, here is the way. Go to your Play Store. Type in video to image. This is the one that I'm reviewing today, video to image converter. Install it, open it up. And this is what you will see. You have a video to image converter. You just click into there and it pulls up all of your videos that you have on your phone from all of the different areas that you have. So I am just going to use one from my camera. Now this camera, the little camera there, you just click it as the video is playing and it pulls up all of the different poses then you click the boxes and you click save Now you will notice that there are ads and that is the price of getting a free app. So there are now the pictures that I have taken from the video mm -hmm. and you can edit your pictures that are here. You can also make a slideshow. For instance, um, I'm going to choose the pictures that I just took from the, uh, the video that I just made. And I'm just going to choose five. You can choose the timing. Or to show each picture here we have two seconds an image let's say we wanted to make that five seconds you can add music and there's a number of different songs that are here plus you can make your own recording You can add another image. And then when you're done with your slideshow, see how the pictures are coming up every five seconds? When you're done with your, your slideshow, you can then save it. So now when it's once it's saved, it will then go into your output videos. You click on there. Now you have different options here. You can open, rename it, delete, share. I'm going to click share. Now remember that share is all of the apps that you already have on your phone. So these are the apps that I have on my phone already. 
and I am going to share it to I'm going to share it to my Facebook. So this is what it's going to look like being shared. Click effects. Put different effects on. This is um, sharing to your Facebook. This is pretty cool for making your content any which way that you mm -hmm. for making different content any way that you want and then done. And then, of course, you want to add a little, a little bit of a caption, and then share. Mm -hmm. Now, here is another thing that you can do, is to go out of here. And then go into another program, and this is called the Marketing Video Maker. And I'm just loading this program up right now. Templates, and then you can also create something else that you want, like for instance, um, Instagram. I can now take my photos that I've made and click next. Now this is the marketing uh, video maker and you can then take the photos that you've created from your video and you've made them into images and then just you can move them around to wherever you want to move them to you know depending on where you want them to go You can edit, add text, can add another image I wanted to add this cute little image here that doesn't look right
add your image and I'm just showing you as an example of what you can do you can also look at your ba background you can choose from your pictures Mm -hmm. I chose that. You can change your size and of course you can also choose by pulling on the sides where you see this on each corner of the picture. You can have graphics. Um, let's see. You know, this is kind of for the, the background. Put in little little banners for your graphics. Shapes. paper, triangles, round, and you have many different types to choose from. So as you can see, it, it will help you to be able to create any type of content. that you need. You could just take any picture and use any type of um, graphics or shapes. And then you have text art, quotes. You could find something here. Of course, you'd have to find something relative to what your uh, to what your picture is offers if you're making a post that has something to do with a sale grand opening and then you have festivals well they call it festival sales so and then you have business stickers, unique lighting, which is what you will get with your Pro if you decide to get the Pro. I am using a free app right now. And then my app where you can add a logo. I don't have one right now so say I did let's say I just wanted something like that that could be sort of like my logo and then when you're done you would just save Make sure that when you do see this, that you, there is an X here on the left-hand side. So how do you want to save it? The original. And then once this is done, you can then click Next. 
and here you would then choose from here you could have cube which is this one here and then you or you could have this one or this one Then you would, this is your theme, then your music, my downloads, my music, recording, or text to speech. And usually what I do is I go into another program that I have. And it is called the Selfish O Meditative Tones. Did you know that 30% of people and if you do use a program like this, sometimes you do have to listen to an ad in order to have this program free. And then once the ad is over, you can just click on So I have this music playing and then I go back to my I can't actually do my recording right now, but that is what I would do. Or if I have something else in a recording, I would add that. Oops. Just as an example of what you can do. And then you have your timing in which you can make it go faster as well so that it's more appealing, going a little faster for you. Some people like that. And then you have your frame. So you can actually change what your, your what it looks like. You can have it with this, or maybe if it's a birthday theme, or hearts and presents, or just like that. You have many different types of options for creating it within your cube, and this is just a wonderful little content maker and it, it does have a lot of uh, different options that that you can you can use now each time you you do something you do have to click the save oops I'm actually not ready yet, so... I'm not ready to save it yet. So now going back... So after you've gone through all of your options here, then you would click save. Would you like to remove the 
or the watermark. If you're using the free pro, uh, program, then no. And I suggest you do use the free program. If you want to change to the pro, that's up to you. But when you're just starting a business and you, all you want to do is uh, start creating your content and creating content is something that you need to be doing every single day and a couple times a day especially when you're building your YouTube channel or your Instagram or any other social media that you're at so now you have a choice here which is a GIF and now each time you change to something different um, you will see these ads coming up so in making a, a, a GIF which is a, a, um, a small moving picture you have to choose an area of what you want it to kind of look like and let's say I choose that one so now this is called video to gif okay so now this is now a gif which is right there and then when you're ready you can then share it and again complete action using whatever you have on your phone so I have a number of different options here um, one thing that I do find very helpful especially for Facebook is called Pages Manager and when you have that installed what you will see is your Facebook pages coming up and it gives you all your Facebook pages that you can share to and this is what is going to create organic traffic so I can share to every single one of these these pages that I have right there that's the pages manager another one you can share to if you have on your phone is your Instagram your blogger tumblr Twitter reddit Pinterest and WordPress now WordPress is another one that is very good because if I click into my WordPress here I have a number of WordPress sites here that I have created now I have free WordPress sites and I have paid WordPress site this is a paid WordPress site right there and that is through a, um, a hosting company this is free right here and the difference is in the actual titles here this is a free site this is a free site now the, the difference is is that this is unique as you could see here this is very a unique one and I've chosen what I want it to be and I've registered a domain name so that is a few ways that you can actually create organic traffic now I am going to take you into the uh, Play Store and show you where to find these programs this is your uh, marketing just type in marketing video maker this is what it looks like right there and you just click that you install it and you open it the pages manager for your 
um, Facebook. Now remember, you can you can have one Facebook account, but you can have as many pages as you want. You can create as many pages as you want. And each new page that you create will help you to create um, a more interaction and more people to be able to, uh, that you'll be able to reach. And this is called organic reach. There you go, you just type in Pages Manager and your Facebook Pages Manager comes up. So those are the programs right there for you to use in order to create your free content. So I hope this has been helpful and um, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more free app reviews that I do to help you to become a, a marketing strategist. Have yourself a wonderful day or evening.